Al Uzza was one of the three chief goddesses of Arabian religion in pre Islamic times and was worshipped by the pre Islamic Arabs along with Alit and Manit. Al Uzza was also worshipped by the Nabataeans, who equated her with the Greek goddess Aphrodite or Arania. A stone cubit at Aif was held sacred as part of her cult. She is mentioned in the Quran Surah 53 19 as being one of the goddesses that people worshipped. Al Uzza, like Herbal, was called upon for protection by the pre Islamic Quraysh. In 624 at the battle called Uhud, the war cry of the Qurayshites was, O oh, people of Uzza, people of Herbal, al Uzza also later appears in Ibn Ishaq's account of the alleged satanic verses. The temple dedicated to al Uzza and the statue itself was destroyed by Khalid ibn al-Walid in Nakula in 630 AD. Destruction of Temple Shortly after the conquest of Mecca, Muhammad began aiming at eliminating the last idols reminiscent of pre-Islamic practices. He sent Khalid ibn al-Walid during Ramadan 630 AD to a place called Nakla, where the goddess al Uzza was worshipped by the tribes of Quraysh and Kinana. The shrine's custodians were from Banu Shaiban. al Uzza was considered the most important goddess in the region. Khalid set out with 30 horsemen to destroy the shrine. It appears that there were two idols of al Uzza, one real and one fake. Khalid first located the fake and destroyed it, then returned to the Prophet to report that he had fulfilled his mission. Did you see anything unusual? asked the Prophet. No, replied Khalid. Then you have not destroyed al Uzza, said the Prophet. Go again. Angry at the mistake that he had made, Khalid once again rode to Nakala, and this time he found the real temple of al Uzza. The custodian of the temple of al Uzza had fled for his life. But before forsaking his goddess he had hung a sword around her neck in the hope that she might be able to defend herself. As Khalid entered the temple, he was faced by an unusual naked dark woman who stood in his way and wailed. Khalid did not stop to decide whether this woman might be there to seduce him or to protect the idol. So he drew his sword in the name of Allah and with one powerful stroke the woman was cut in two. He then smashed the idol, and returning to Mecca, gave the Prophet an account of what he had seen and done. Then the Prophet said, Yes, that was al Uzza, and never again shall she be worshipped in your land, at Petra. The first known mention of al Uzza is from the inscriptions at Dedan, the capital of the Lithuanite kingdom, in the 4th or 3rd century BC. She had been adopted alongside Dushera as the presiding goddess at Petra, the Nabataean capital, where she assumed the attributes of Isis, Taich, and Aphrodite and superseded her sisters in importance. During the 5th century Christianity became the prominent religion of the region following conquest by Basauma, cult of al Uzza. According to the Book of Idols by Hisham ibn al kalbi over her, an Arab built a house called Bas in which the people used to receive oracular communications. The Arabs as well as the Qurayshwa were one to name their children Abdul Uzza. Furthermore, Al Uzza was the greatest idol among the Qurayshwa. They used to journey to her, offer gifts unto her, and seek her favors through sacrifice. The Qurayshwa were one to circumambulate the Kaaba and say, by Al Lat and Al Uzza and Al Manit, the third idol besides. Verily they are Algaranik whose intercession is to be sought. This last phrase is said to be the source of the alleged satanic verses. The Arabic term is translated as most exalted females by Faris in the text. But he annotates this much argued term in a footnote as lit. New Midian cranes, each of the three goddesses had a separate shrine near Mecca. The most prominent Arabian shrine of al Uzza was at a place called Nakla near Kudaid, east of Mecca towards at Aif. Three trees were sacred to her there she was the lady Uzza Yan to whom a South Arabian offered her golden image on. 
behalf of his sick daughter, Amit Uzayan, A-B-D-U-L, Uza, slave of the mightiest one, was a favorite proper name during the advent of Islam. The name Mal, Uza, appears as an emblem of beauty in late pagan Arabic poetry quoted by Ibn al-Kalbi, and oaths were sworn by her. al Uza's presence in Saudi Arabia has been thoroughly effaced by time but her presence has not been obliterated far north at Petra of the Nabataeans, who had deities with Arabian names early in their history, whom they later associated with Hellenistic gods. Al Uza becoming associated with Isis and with Aphrodite. Susan Crone suggests that the identities of Al Uza and Al Lat were fused in Central Arabia uniquely. On the authority of Abdul La Ibn Abbas, at Tabari derived Al Uza from Al Aziz, the Mighty, one of the 99 beautiful names of Allah, in his commentary on Quran 7 to 180. Uza the Garden. According to Easton's Bible Dictionary, Uza was a garden in which Manasseh and Amon were buried. It was probably near the king's palace in Jerusalem, or may have formed part of the palace grounds. Manasseh may probably have acquired it from someone of this name, as an angel. In Judaic and Christian law, Uza has been also used as an alternative name for the angel Metatron in the Sefer HaHeshek. More commonly he is referred to as either the Seraph Semaza or as one of the three guardian angels of Egypt that harried the Jews during the Exodus. As Semaza in legend he is the Seraph tempted by Ishtahar into revealing the explicit name of God and was thus burned alive and hung head down. Between heaven and earth is the constellation Orion. In the third book of Enoch and in the Zohar he is one of the fallen angels punished for cohabiting with human women and fathering the Anakim. Uza is also identified with Abazi Tebod who in early Jewish lore is also used as another name for Samuel and Mastema referring to a powerful spirit who shared princedom of Egypt with Rahab and opposed Moses to eventually drown in the Red Sea. Bibliography Ambrose, Arne, A Concise Dictionary of Quranic Arabic, V. Spaden, Reichert Verlag, ISBN 3-89500-400-6, Burton, John, The Collection of the Quran, Cambridge University Press, Davidson, Gustav, A Dictionary of Angels, Including the Fallen Angels, Scroll House, ISBN 0-02-907052-X. Finnegan, Jack. The Archaeology of World Religions. Princeton University Press. pp. 482-485-492. Hammond, Philip. An Incision Model for the Goddess of the Temple of the Winged Lions at Petra. 1985. Hiti, Philip K. History of the Arabs. Ibn al-Kalbi, Hisham, The Book of Idols, being a translation from the Arabic of the Kitab al-Asnam, translation and commentary by Nabi Amin Faris, Princeton University Press, LCCN 52,006,741, Kitab al-Asnam in the original Arabic, Peters, E, The Hajj, The Muslim Pilgrimage to Mecca and the Holy Places, Princeton University Press, Al-Tawil, Hashem, Early Arab Icons, Literary and Archaeological Evidence for the Cult of Religious Images in Pre-Islamic Arabia, University of Iowa, Taylor, Jane, Petra and the Lost Kingdom of the Nabataeans, I.B., Taurus Publishes, ISBN 1-86064-508-9. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain. Easton, Matthew George. Article name needed. Easton's Bible Dictionary. T. Nelson and Sons.